want to share a story, one that is very tough to hear. It's hard to even imagine losing a loved one and then having no closure, no real way of moving forward. Four years ago, a fisherman stumbled upon a grisly discovery in the Arkansas River, a human leg. Investigators, though, were quickly able to connect it to one of two missing North Little Rock women. The two friends vanished nearly six years ago, but in all that time, few questions have been answered. It's not a day that don't that goes by that I don't think about it. I was devastated. Uh, what could have happened, where were they going, what was going on that night. Oh my God, this is it, it's real, she's gone. To lose a child, in this way is, man, it's so heavy. I thought that if they were together and that happened to Shakina, who's to say that the same thing couldn't have happened to Takisa? What seems like small or insufficient to one person, to me, in this case, it could be very large. Give me something to let me know if, if I can hold on to a little bit of hope or if I need to be planning a service myself. And tonight, North Little Rock Police Chief Mike Davis is here with me to talk about this case. Thanks so much for coming in. Glad to be here. You know, this case was reported, but it was not widely publicized. Not a lot of people heard about it. Correct. Let's go back to the beginning. What happened? You received two missing persons reports. Yes, they were uh, pretty close. Not the same day, but pretty close. But nobody really put it together. And, you know, January 2014, uh, we have a lady that's reported missing. Uh, possibly been missing three or four days and uh, and then you know the next day we, we get something else but we don't put it together a lot of times uh, you know somebody's missing but you know they're not really missing they're just not want to be found or something like that and that turned out not to be the case in this particular instance and it was detectives work finding the phone records yes. and discovering that both their phones basically died at the same time yes they did they were pinging from the same uh, cell tower and they both just went dead at the same time so they they were together there's not any doubt in our mind about it and then the the discovery in the yes. Arkansas River, which yes. did you suspect then, or up until then, that there may have been a homicide here? I, we, I did. I mean, I, I just, it, pe two people just don't vanish, mm -hmm. and their vehicle's gone as, as well, and, and no signs of anything, no contact with anybody, and, and, you know, one person would reach out, you know, at some point, but it didn't happen at all, so I, I just was feared the worst from the beginning, really. You know, uh, this full version of the story will air tonight at 10 o'clock, and I went to you, to your office, to, to discuss this case, and this is really the only criminal case file that you keep on your desk. <laughs> Why? I, you know, I don't know. I mean, it was just one of those that caught my attention when it happened, and, you know, we had Samantha Olson that was killed at JFK and McCain, and that's another, you know, case that's unsolved. This one, there's somebody that knows, there's more than one person that knows what's going on and we just really want them to call us and give us, just get us started. You know, yeah. uh, if we get your name, that's great, but if we get some anonymous information to point us in the right direction, that's what we're after. This case can be solved and that's why it's on my desk. I mean, we need to find out, to get closure for the family. Yeah. I mean, we, we were talking about a child that's still here. We're talking about parents and, that are dealing with his sisters that are dealing with this every day. And, and I think as the story's gonna bear out is that they're still struggling with it right now. And, and I don't blame them. They wanna know what happened. 
And quickly, no piece of information is too small. No, it's not at all. And there's a reward. I mean, we we're offering up to twenty thousand dollars for information on this. So please, I mean, if you got information, call us, let us know, and yeah. and uh, hopefully after tonight, seeing the story, that uh, yeah. we'll get that. Thank you so much, Chief Thank Mike you. Davis, North Little Rock Police Department. Much more coming up tonight at ten in our Unsolved series. Thank, Thank you, you so much.